Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. So tonight I want to show you like a pampering bath routine. You know, today is one of those days where I just found a pocket of time this evening and I just want to spend it on myself. It's been a crazy week, super duper busy. I haven't been feeling the best lately and so I definitely need this time. You know, I don't want to spend too long. I want to get myself into bed, but I really just want to wash the day away, relax my muscles, clear my mind, treat my body and my skin just right, and my hair too, you know? Just really take care of myself, give myself that little self-care moment, and I want you guys to follow along. So if you're so ready, give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started. <music> All right, so I am ready to get this self-care night kicked off with a hot bath. This is like my number one like self-care practice. It really is. I don't know. There's just something about baths that make me feel so refreshed and relaxed and just like it clears my head. It makes me feel so good. I just feel like I emerge so fresh and yeah, I don't know. I just really love it. So I just ran the bath, um, but before I jump in, I do want to cleanse my makeup off first. So I'm just going to go in with a quick double cleanse. I'm going to use the uh, Isn't Tree Micellar Melting Cleansing Oil, which I'm really sad to say I believe has been discontinued, which really sucks because this is like the best thing ever. And I'm not wearing much makeup today, but I definitely have like a nice thick layer of sunscreen that I definitely want to get in there and break up and off of my face. And then I'm going to go in for the Axis Y Sunday Morning Refreshing Cleansing Foam. Really been enjoying this one. It's really nice and gentle on my skin. There seriously is nothing like the feeling of washing your face after a really long day. It is like one of the simplest pleasures, but honestly, it just feels so good. So first I'm going to wash up with the Pyongyang Yul Shower Gel. You can also use this as a shampoo, but I don't really like it that way. I just like it like a body wash and it's super duper gentle. There's no fragrances or anything in here. And that's really what I need because my body skin's been a little bit more sensitive and definitely very dry. Then I'm going to quickly shave. I like this EOS Shave Cream. It's um, really nice and gentle. I do tend to get razor burn and I feel like this uh, keeps my legs a little Little bit better protected. Next I'm going to use the Bioderma Aetoderm Oil Wash. Now my friend from Canada actually sent this to me. Bioderma, it's a little bit more difficult to find in the States, but you can get it online. Uh, this is so moisturizing and so soothing for dry and itchy skin. A little bit of artificial fragrance in this one, just heads up for those of you who want to know. You know I'm a huge fan of the Shiseido Tsubaki Shampoo and Conditioner. I recently switched over to their repair line and I've really been liking it. It's like heavy duty moisture for the hair, which I absolutely need even at the tail end of winter. I'm just dry all over. But instead of going in for the conditioner, which I would normally use, it is a special self-care night. I'm going to go in for the Subaki Repair Hair Mask. I really like this. Uh, I just recently started using it, but it feels so good on the hair really deep type of conditioning product. And what I absolutely love about this, you know, some hair masks, you have to keep it on your hair for a really long time, rinse immediately. There's no wait time. This like quickly infuses with your hair, leaving it incredibly soft, super manageable. Okay, so I just got out of the shower and I'm gonna treat myself to a little bit of a wash off mask. And you know, one of my favorite things to do is to use a clay mask like in my T zone and um, like a different type of wash off, like a hydrating mask in my U zone, which is very, very dry. T zone is pretty oily. So I'm gonna be using the Innisfree Pore Clearing Clay Mask. Uh, super famous, right? This stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna be putting that right into my T zone area. I've just been noticing a little bit more like congestion in that area, especially now that we're getting into the very, very early, you know, um, springtime. Um, that tends to make my T-zone a little bit more oily, which can definitely lead to more congestions. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in for the I'm from Mugwort mask. You know, I love this stuff so much. I use this all the time, um, but my skin really likes it. It feels quite um, protective and hydrating, which is great because I really can't get clay 
uh, masks in my drier um, areas on my face because it would just like suck the living daylights out of it and just make things a lot worse. So nice tip for those of you with more like combination skin, it's kind of doing separate things in different areas of your face. You can 100% mix your um, masking products. Um, don't feel like you have to use the same product like all over your face. If one is really good for a certain area, just do it in that area. So both of these masks take about 10 minutes. So that's why they're like actually like a really good match together because they have the same um, amount of masking time and then it gets washed off. So quickly I'm just gonna um, IPL my underarms. Um, if you guys caught my video um, I have been using an IPL device and I'm about halfway through my like at home treatments and stuff. I did my legs um, a few days ago and you only do this once a week but I'm gonna do my pits <laughs> really quickly um, and I, I like doing my pits because it's really quick and easy where the legs can take a much longer time. So this just, um, the goal is to stop hair growing completely. Um, oops. But um, I'm in the middle of the treatment. So right now it really just kind of like slows the hair down, which I've definitely been noticing results, um, which is great. So for body lotion, I'm gonna go in for the La Roche-Posay Lipicar Balm AP. And I have to tell you, this is probably the most nourishing, thick, rich body cream that I currently own and my skin is just drinking it up. I need this to fight the ashiness on my knees and my elbows. Before I dry my hair, I'm just going to put a little bit of the Oshima 100% Tsubaki oil on my hair and just a very little bit goes a long way. But I've been using this product for a while now, over a year, and I absolutely love it. It makes my hair feel so, so good. This is really my secret weapon, like Tsubaki for hair care products. It's the secret sauce. So I'm just gonna do like what I would normally do. I'm not gonna go like super fancy with my skincare. I already feel like super fancy because I did a mask tonight, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm gonna go in with the Cosrx Sika Toner and I'm really sad because this is almost empty and you know, I was really raving about this um, when I first got it. This is definitely a repurchase. Um, I haven't repurchased it yet, but that's just because I have so many products. You know what I mean? Like I just, I feel guilty if I don't use things up, you know, responsibly, but I'm gonna get this again because, oh wow, this feels so deeply hydrating for my like dehydration. And there is a calming, like a really nice deeply calming element to this, which I do need because my skin has been a little bit it's better, but it's been a little bit more reactive lately. It might just be like the swinging temperatures because it was like super duper extremely cold. And now it's actually getting kind of mild. I actually cracked the window just a little bit. I mean, it's pretty chilly outside, but I just love fresh air. So it's, you know what I mean? It's getting mild enough that like it's, it's okay, it's comfortable. And I think that makes my skin just go a little bit up and down. But so anyways, my skin's been a little bit more reactive and I recently just went through, I'm actually still going through it, but a little patch of eczema on my upper lip, just right here. You can probably see a little bit of redness. Um, it's actually pretty calmed down. Um, I, I feel like I've got it kind of like under control, you know what I mean? But I haven't gone through this in many, many years. I had a patch of eczema probably six or seven years ago now, like on the back of my like neck and hairline, it was pretty big, it was really bad. But I haven't really had anything like that since. I'm not super prone to it, so um, kind of interesting. I haven't had to deal with this in a long time, but I've been being very gentle with my overall skincare, which I normally am, but I've been being super <laughs> cautious because of that, just kind of being very gentle and slow with my skin. So next I'm gonna go in for the Laneige Cream Skin Refiner. I've been getting a lot of benefits from using like a real deeply moisturizing toner in addition to their super watery toner, like I uh, use the Cosrx Sika toner, super duper watery, very hydrating and light, but just like one or two layers of like a real creamy, nourishing kind of toner has been really helping me get through the dry kind of cold season and it actually does seem to help with my skin's um, sensitivity too you know when your skin's just a little bit off and a little bit irritated it can kind of feel a little itchy 
a little overly dry. This like, kind of really seems to calm and soothe and protect the skin. And honestly, I'm feeling like a one layer tonight with this one. Uh, occasionally, I'll go in for a second layer. Now, I recently just did a this or that uh, video between Laneige Cream Skin Refiner and the new uh, Dr. Seracle Kombucha Essence, which is like a real competitor product to Cream Skin. And um, I actually declared Dr. Dr. Seracle to be the winner, and I absolutely love that. I am just trying to use up my Laneige Cream Skin bottle, though. I mean, this is real life skincare, you guys. I am just trying to use this up. Um, you know, I'm particularly favoring this right now because as you can see, it is almost gone. It's been open for a little bit too long as well. But this is, as you remember from the video, it is quite rich and sometimes it can feel just a touch greasy, just a touch heavy, where the Dr. Seracle was just a little bit more elegant overall in texture. I know I'm gonna get more use out of Dr. Seracle when it starts to get warmer. So I'm definitely gonna use the, the last remnants of winter weather to use up the Laneige Cream Skin Refiner. But like no shade to Laneige, I really love that product. I'll, I'll probably buy it again at some point, but um, I am excited to kind of turn my attention to that Dr. Seracle product when this one's done. So for serum, I'm going in for the Cosrx B5 D Panthenol Ampule. I'm actually right now in the middle of testing this out for a this or that battle that'll be coming up soon, soon, soon. I use a lot of the same products, core products, and then like when I'm testing something like tonight, um, you know, I, I make room in my routine for that. But other than that, I mean, I really haven't been changing my products out too much recently. Because, you know, I do believe in consistent skincare. It's really hard to get that message across sometimes when you are like a skincare enthusiast on the internet. You know what I mean? It definitely is. Oh, I need a little bit more for my neck. Um, but I am pretty consistent. You know, a lot of the routines that you see will seem like they have a lot of fluctuation, but they really don't. <laughs> From day to day, they really don't. So for eye cream, I'm gonna go in for the Claire's Fundamental Eye Awakening Gel. Now, you know, on nighttime, a couple of nights a week, I do use a retinal eye cream, um, but I'm gonna be 100% like real with you. It's in the other room and I don't feel like getting it. <laughs> It's in my office because I'm gonna do some texture shots for a video that's coming up and I forgot to grab it and put it in my skincare basket and um, I don't feel like going and, and getting it right now so I'm just gonna go for the um, the fundamental eye gel tonight which is what I've been using like in the mornings and kind of like alternating nights um, I really like this stuff a lot it's got such a nice pleasing like hydrating but also moisturizing gel texture and i'm just like getting this all over my eyelashes it's actually quite plumping for the eye area too which is really nice particularly in the morning time i like a little like a little plump under eye area make it look like i slept really good you know what i mean so next i'm gonna put on a little bit of the ceramide medicated skin cream this is from Kose, which is a japanese beauty brand and I recently unboxed this um, in my recent Yes Style unboxing video that I did. And I've really been liking this, like straight out of that unboxing, this has been so invaluable to me. And actually, this is such a multi-purpose type of product, you know. I don't actually really use it like a moisturizer, but I use it for a variety of different um, things. And I'm probably going to use it two different ways tonight. So right now, I'm actually going to use it on my lips. Like I said, I do have like a little patch of eczema which is like calming down, thank goodness. Um, but this this is nice because it's like a mixture between like a moisturizer type of texture and a Vaseline type of texture. It actually is a petrolatum based product with some ceramides and some other healing, soothing, sensitive skin friendly ingredients in here. And it really is me me meant to go on like damaged or super dry skin. Um, so this has been like I said, invaluable. So I actually just run a small little portion over that area. It's so weird. It's just like right here. It's just in this little corner. It's so strange. I mean, I'm glad it's not bigger, but it's just 
okay, whatever skin, do what, do what you need to do. I've been using a variety of like petrolatum based products uh, to help treat this area and it's been so helpful. I'm gonna use a different one um, a little bit later, but what I'm kind of doing not only to treat, you know, my kind of like dry areas right now on my lips, but this is kind of an insurance policy too because I am gonna be using tretinoin tonight, um, but I have learned that I can't get it kind of near the area where I have my little flare up because that can kind Kind of like set back my healing progress so this is one step to keeping that area protected so you know i'm going to use stradia liquid gold and their fortify oil next if you've seen any routine from me you know this is where i use it um it's particularly important to me to use these products when i am using my tretinoin prescription because these are very good barrier strengtheners these are very good for the health of your moisture barrier and you know um any type of like ceramides, cholesterol, fatty acids, like focused product that you can get into your routine. Um, if you are gonna use a retinol or a tretinoin or just like a high percentage of any type of exfoliant, um, it's actually a really nice way to get your skin to accept those types of ingredients with less to no irritation. So it's really a nice combination to treat your moisture barrier while you're also using your specialized treatment. So I just took like two drops of the Fortify oil, which is a blend of oils that have a really nice fatty acid profile. And I'm just gonna put one pump of liquid gold onto the back of my hand and just mix it up that way. I do this, um, mostly just so that I have less layers on my face um, so things don't feel so heavy on my skin and they absorb a lot better. And that's a really great trick for you guys who are looking to incorporate maybe just like a facial oil into your skincare routine. I love just mixing it in with like moisturizer. Um, and that's kind of, you know, if I wasn't using this creamy type of product and I was just going in for moisturizer, this is exactly where I would put it into my routine. Um, is I would mix it right into my moisturizer. So one thing I learned like on my skincare adventures <laughs> was um, to warm your hands up after you, especially when you put like a really emollient type of oil on, like warm your hands up and then just wrap them on your skin and that kind of helps aid absorption. I don't even know if it works that well. I think it does, but I think it just feels amazing. And since tonight is kind of like slow down, you know what I mean? slow down, have a, a self-care moment. It's not just about the products that I'm putting on my face, but it's about how I'm treating myself tonight, how I'm slowing down, how I'm releasing the day and the tension and the stress and just kind of giving myself a moment to reset. I like doing stuff like this when I get a, a moment or, or an opportunity to because it's super relaxing. All right, so it's tretinoin time now. And you know, um, I like to mix my tretinoin in with my final moisturizer. This is my sensitive skin uh, friendly tip if you are going to be using tret or even um, retinol. It's really nice if you can mix it into a moisturizer. Also good if you're just starting out too because it really cuts down on the side effects, but it really doesn't cut down on any of the results. I still get amazing results, but mixing it in with my moisturizer really helps to keep my skin from getting super dry and irritated. Um, it just really kind of helps buffer it, if you will. So I get my um, prescription through Curology. Right now I'm Tret 0.035%. So here's what I'm gonna do to kind of prep my skin for the tretinoin. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of my moisturizer, which is just plain old CeraVe moisturizing cream. You know, I've loved this uh, for so many years. It's amazing to see CeraVe is just like so popular these days because it's just like, it's just a regular old drugstore cream. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm actually just putting it around my eye area first because I have, um, I have gotten tretinoin, like not really under my eye, but on top of my eyelids before, and it's caused some pretty bad irritation. So um, I've pretty much trained myself out of it because for some reason out of habit, I was just like rubbing it over my eyes and that was like a big no-no. I've really trained myself out of it, but just to be, you know, careful, I do run a little extra layer of moisturizer over my eyes first. So if I do get a little bit up there, 
like I said, I have a little extra layer of protection. So same kind of theory is what I'm gonna do with my lips, because remember that patch of eczema, I can't go near there. I'm gonna use some Aqua Four healing ointment over my lip area. The Ceramide is really, really nice for kind of like treating that area and calming it, but it's not a super thick cream because it is kind of like a mixture of a moisturizer and like a Aquaphor type of product. But Aquaphor is just a plain old um, occlusive. You know what I mean? It is just, it's thick and it protects anything that is underneath it. And so that's what I'm doing with my lips. And I'm going a little bit over because that's where that eczema patch is. And this is going to help me make sure that I don't run over that with my tretinoin cream. All right, super. So I just have like a little, um, kind of like a pea size amount of tretinoin on the back of my hand here. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but I promise you it's plenty. And I'm just going to put some, get my leverage here, put some CeraVe cream. And you don't need a lot of moisturizer. Uh, to to mix this into and what you can do is you can kind of mix up your little Your little mixture on the back of your hand if you don't feel like it was enough moisturizer Just go back in with a little bit more afterwards But this just really helps my skin so 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 much I have been doing really well with the bump up in prescription too, which I was like ready for side effects You know what I mean because I went from um, 0.02 to point uh, zero three and I thought that that was going to cause some issues, but honestly, my skin really just went like accepted the new prescription really easily. And I think it's because I've got my moisture barrier routine down. You know what I mean? Um, all those years that um, I've been preaching about ceramides, cholesterol, fatty acids has actually really helped me so much on my tretinoin journey. Um, really helping my skin be prepared uh, for this type of thing because you know acclimating yourself to this ingredient can be kind of tricky it can be kind of a rocky road but it's so worth it you know what I mean it is so worth it my skin has improved so much with tretinoin and I'm just like I'm so grateful to have kind of gone on this journey because yeah my skin is just doing so well with it. All right, my skin feels so refreshed. I love how I feel when I get out of a bath, not just like my body, cause it usually like relaxes my muscles and stuff too, but I love how my skin feels as well. And like after just this nice, like very straightforward nighttime routine, it just feels so good and feels really bouncy and fresh and moisturized and protected. So tonight um, I am going to probably make some popcorn and watch a movie. I've been on like a old black and white movie kick. I love it, like movies from the 30s and 40s, I can't get enough of them. I was super obsessed when I was like growing up as a kid and I'm like rediscovering a lot of my old favorites um, currently. So that's probably what I'm gonna do tonight. I'm gonna watch a little, probably the Palm Beach story, which is a really fun kind of screwball comedy. So I'm not going to bed yet, I guess is where I'm going with this. I'm gonna treat myself to uh, some streaming time, but before I go to bed, I'm not gonna do it now, but before I go to bed, I will probably put a layer of the Ceramide, remember this medicated cream? I'm probably gonna use this as a sleeping pack tonight, but I'm probably only gonna put it in my U-zone area, not my uh, nose and forehead, my T-zone. Um, the reason that I'm gonna do that is because it's very occlusive, so it's the perfect kind of sleeping cream to fight dehydration. And because I put my tretinoin on tonight, I do tend to be a little bit more prone to a little extra dehydration and dryness the nights that I do use my prescription. And I have been noticing because of the little patch of eczema and all the mask wearing, this area just right around my mouth just needs a little extra TLC, a little tender loving care, you know what I mean? So a little layer of the Ceramide as a sleeping pack has been doing a really good job at keeping my skin hydrated and plump and moisturized. So I, I pretty much just keep this on the side of my bed. So I will put a, a thin layer of this just around my mouth and chin area and maybe up on my cheeks a little bit before I go to bed tonight. Woo, so I hope you guys enjoyed that self-care moment that I had tonight. You know, we really like did it all. I mean, we had like a relaxing bath. Uh, we did body care, hair care, skin care. We did it all. We really did it all. And I'm about ready to kick off the rest of my just 
relaxing night. Like I said, this has been a really busy, slightly stressful week for me. And this is the exact thing that I need right now in the moment. And I'm going to treat myself to it. So I'm curious to know what is like one of your favorite ways to have a self care moment. It may not be a skincare thing, or maybe it is. Um, but I am curious to know. So let me know in the comment box below. If you love the video, for some reason you watched all the way through, but you haven't hit subscribe yet, please do consider subscribing to my channel. I release two new skincare focused videos every single week and don't forget to turn on notifications. I hope you guys have a fantastic night wherever you are in the world. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe as well. And I can't wait to talk to you soon. Bye.